सो ईच अटेंडेंस इज पॉइंट फाइव रन क्या चीज नहीं क्या क्या बोल रहे हो बताओ तो हाँ देखो आई एम ओके विद दिस एज लॉन्ग एज आप जो है सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट से नीचे पे मार्क्स नहीं मांगते हो आई एम ओके विद वट एवर पॉलिसी यू गिव मी मेक इट रीजनेबल है ना मतलब बट थ्री थ्री टू टू आई एम ओके आई डोंट माइंड बट बट हाउ डज इट मैटर यार पांच नंबर में वो आधा नंबर है मतलब अभी इतना सोच रहे हो फर्स्ट मिड टर्म के बाद तुम इसको कोई नहीं सोचने वाला आधा नंबर जब इधर तो नंबर तो आए हैं नहीं और उधर <laughs> देखो मतलब डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सेम रहता है ना शुरू सेमेस्टर शुरू होने पे ही रहता है सारा ये सब सेमेस्टर शुरू होने से पहले हम अच्छा कोर्स लेंगे ये सीखेंगे वो सीखेंगे फिर तीन वीक बाद ऑल राइट चलो एक अटेंडेंस के लिए अभी तो एक शीट ले लो कोई यार एंड कीप राइटिंग योर नेम्स एंड रोल नंबर्स ऑल राइट सो दिस स्लाइड आई डोंट नो आई नो कपल ऑफ अदर वर्जन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्लाइड जिसमें ये इनका कंटेंट आता नहीं है ओके सो फ्रॉम व्हाट आई रिमेंबर इज द क्वेश्चन हियर आर शुड वी मेक मशीन दैट Think like humans. That act like humans. And uh, there are things like, you know. Uh, and are human beings rational something of that sort okay can you hear me at the back okay so should we make machines that think like humans what is your opinion on this dekho everybody is aware of this ai hype hai na it's not a hype provided we realize roughly how much power it has hai na ai is actually working but not like it will destroy human beings in next 10 years right it will take up all the jobs in next 5 years that won't happen so aaj meri subah ki class isliye kharab hui kyunki yahan se log kursiyan le gaye the <laughs> अब वही चीजें वापिस आ रही है सो थिंक लाइक ह्यूमंस वट डज इट मीन टू इवन थिंक लाइक ह्यूमंस अच्छा एक बात बताओ वट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दी हाइप क्रिएटेड बाई चैट जीपीटी चैट जीपीटी इज अ वेरी पावरफुल टूल बट डू यू थिंक नाउ इट इज लिविंग अप टू दी हाइप बट इज इट वेरी पावरफुल right like triple city assignments <laughs> right or maybe some basic code so it is very powerful provided we realize what should we ask
right so provided we know provided we know what are the limits of a particular system okay now think of it this way but ai is going to certainly impact whom which which kind of jobs you think will be impacted नहीं थोड़ा सा एग्जाम्पल दो कंक्रीट अच्छा एक बात बताओ हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव सीन दिस ट्रांजिशन इन कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइक लाइक यू से फ्यू इयर्स अगो ये जो अपने सामने यहां पे जो अपार्टमेंट्स बन रहे हैं लाइक इफ यू टॉक अबाउट मे बी ट्वेंटी इयर्स अगो यू वुड फाइंड मे बी हंड्रेड ऑफ वर्कर वर्किंग देयर डिगिंग दिस होल थिंग राइट अभी आप देखोगे तो मे बी थ्री फोर जेसीबीज फाइव फोर ट्रक्स एंड देन विद इन अ few weeks they will dig this whole thing so this has certainly this automation has certainly had an impact on construction jahan pe let's say you required 500 you require only 50 today right those kind of things i am asking so can chat gpt replace a construction worker directly probably not okay so wherever there is hard labor probably chat gpt won't be able to impact it If you go to a barber shop, you have to go to a barber shop. Chat GPT can't help barber as such. On the other hand, all these so-called intellectual jobs that we were thinking are irreplaceable, right? There, Chat GPT is helping a lot. If you want to write a program, it won't be able to write as good as you for sure, right? Okay, let's assume that. But if you think of innovation, it won't have that. maybe it will reduce your time you don't have to go to stack overflow anymore you don't have to consult other things it will give you everything concise at that particular place itself but still to write a new code you will still have to work on your own so it will help in a developer's life in any way is any of these systems thinking chat gpt for example is it thinking yes right so if you give it context then it performs really well but still is it thinking all these are philosophical questions right so first of all it takes us to the question what do you mean by thinking in itself okay so we don't want to uh, you know uh, trigger these philosophical questions what we'll say is we don't want this think like human beings we don't want to build machines that think like human beings because we don't even understand probably what is thinking so thinking like human beings and then you know imitate the same thing in machines we don't want to do that act like humans again the same argument goes act rationally is something we'll discuss but are human beings always rational so human beings are not always rational now but the thing is we want to build machines that act rationally so you see the contrast in these four statements we don't want to make machines that think like humans we don't want to make machines that act like humans we want to make machines that act rationally but human beings are not always rational so we are in a way not building anything that is closer to human beings we are not building things that think like them we are not building things that act like them we are building things but then human beings don't behave that way so we want to build things that act rationally even till now it is super vague so we go to next rational decisions what do they mean for us in this course right in uh, cs 188 of berkeley so
these slides were super famous like they were being used in more than 150 universities i don't know why did they uh, put it behind authentication wall rational decision so we'll use the term rational in a very specific and technical way not not the way we understand rational as human beings we'll try to define what does rational mean for us by the way just to let you know if you go to that side that camera captures you if you go to this side certain uh, slightly tilting that side then that does not capture you okay so i mean recording me ana hai ki nahi ana hai that is up to you i am just telling you in which case it happens so we'll use the term rational in a very specific and technical way rational means maximally achieving predefined goals predefined so you'll first define some goals and then maximally achieve them goals are expressed in terms of utility of outcomes right utility means we'll discuss all these things but you try to assign some number see machines won't work unless you quantify things in numbers so we'll try to assign numbers to all these outcomes world is uncertain so we'll use expected utility so for us this course means being rational means acting to maximize your expected utility we can discuss on this more so and as they say in the next slide a better title for this course might be computational rationality okay questions here in this slide isse pehle abhi tak aapne kuch nahi suna that's okay but this slide is important so if you were lost somewhere this is the right time to come back so what are you doing predefined goals who will define them you okay predefined goals but those predefined goals they don't make sense unless you are able to assign some utility to the outcomes so if you win in chess you get plus 1 if you lose you get minus 1 so some utilities world is uncertain so we will use expected utility that means things won't go as we always plan them okay and being rational means acting to maximize your expected utility so we are maximally is here utility is here expected comes from the fact that the world is uncertain so a system is only intelligent if it can do x play chess i mean even this is debatable right so a system is only intelligent if it can play chess you call it intelligent because it back in 1997 when deep blue defeated gary kasparov right will you call that system as intelligent at that time it was a super big hype but super computer of that time is this right so a system is only intelligent if it can play chess learn from experience use words properly make mistakes not make mistakes it is super difficult to define intelligence and then artificial intelligence even more so okay so we don't get into this so everybody has seen this if not right all right so now what i'll do is i'll simply go to the technical thing i mean all these things are nice mm. this may be is a slide that we can talk about so 20 2010 to 2017 right see this deep learning era actually emerged with this image net competition where alex net actually had 10% better performance than all other systems okay and more than that this paper actually showed that you can use deep learning to do large scale computer vision so this is one of the you know uh, marks in the history deep mind achieves a lot of things and so on right and this particular list is changing every month 
today you can't do something but one month later you can do a lot of these things okay um, what about this i mean ye kafi linkedin pe viral hua tha hey chat gpt finish this building what what's your opinion on this so here it says cross you can't but what about your opinion on this or in which case you, you will be able to chat gpt will be able to do it so there were some comments on this stating that all you need to integrate is chat gpt with 3d printing right so it's not that it is impossible to see how chat gpt will do this all right so this course is designing rational agents so now we are uh, starting some technical stuff an agent is an entity that perceives and acts i'm not going to ask you this uh, this definition in exams but this is something you should know an agent is an entity that perceives and acts this is our agent this is environment so everything else everything else for an agent is environment okay agent is this it has some sensors it has some actuators through which it will take actions environment say it receives something and then it takes action and of course you will take action in the environment we'll see what does it exactly mean a rational agent selects actions that maximize its expected utility you will see this term a lot of times in this course so what was the goal of this course those four words maximize expected utility okay characteristics of percepts environment and action space dictate techniques for selecting rational actions this course is about general ai techniques for variety of problem types learning to recognize when and how a new problem can be solved with an existing technique a lot of it you have already done in algorithms but we'll come back to it right right now all we need to take care of is there is an agent that has sensors to sense what environment is saying and what i mean what it percepts from the environment and then it can take actions to change that environment so this is just a pdf so these animations won't work but how can you see pacman as an agent in this case kitne logon ne pacman khela hai right kitne logon ne nahi khela okay all right so if pacman is my agent how do i define all these things here so right so what is if agent is pacman what is environment everything else right but everything else where on this board right we are not talking about world per se when we talk so this is somewhere you will also see environment world and so on but what this actually means is this board so this particular environment is my context dependent which problem are you talking about this is my agent and this is the world for it or environment for it it percepts and it takes action actions for this pacman could be so let's say see you, do you have to do a separate action of eating a pellet no right so moving to that position is equivalent to eating that pellet so we'll um, remove eating now if i move left from here that's an action i can take so actions available for my agent are north east west south right anything else i can do probably not okay this won't work but the animations in this course are actually fantastic so this course topics i'll do this and this this is a pretty big course okay so these are the two things i'll try to do this is something you have already done in your ml course so we don't need to do this 
this we will see if we have time at least I will try to introduce this, but these two things will do for sure okay. And uh, all right. Right, right, thank you. Uh. Okay. Now, how do I write? All right. So, agents that plan ahead, search problems, uninformed search methods, DFS, BFS, UCS. How many of you have done this before? Yeah, ye to problem rahegi bhai. You want me to use red ink or? No, because once in a class there was a comment, ki sir red mat use karo please. So I think red should be okay, but else people preferred black, so let me resort to black. Huh. Okay, so let me see, yeah this works. So agents that plan ahead, search problems, how many of you have done this? Everybody? So, everybody knows how does depth first work, depth first search works, all right. So, we will see it anyway. Agents that plan ahead search problems. What does it mean to say agents that plan ahead? When can you plan ahead? When you know everything, right? When you know about an environment, when you know a lot of information. If you do not know anything, you cannot really plan ahead. So, agents that plan ahead, you are given already this scenario, you can compute everything and then you can decide the velocity for whatever projectile you want to throw. Reflex agents, choose actions based on the current percept and maybe memory. May have memory or a model of the world's current state, do not consider future consequences of their actions, this is important for us. Do not consider future consequences of their actions, do it right now. 
कंसिडर हाउ द वर्ल्ड एज इज कैन ए रिफ्लेक्स एजेंट बी रैशनल या वॉट इज ए रिफ्लेक्स एजेंट कैन यू गिव मी एन एग्जाम्पल सो हाउ वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस कार्टून एंड द प्रीवियस कार्टून all this information is known right you compute so what is it computing which angle which speed should it jump so as to grab this one and then land here and not fall here now in this case just reflex no computation nothing you you can think of it this way i just saw this apple and jumped right without thinking of what will happen later so choose actions based on the current percept may have memory or a model of the world's current state so current state you might have do not consider the future consequences i am not thinking whether i will fall in this pit whether i'll be able to grab this or not i just did something other examples of this reflex agent other examples of reflex agent i mean as human beings how do we reflex Hmm. Right, so hot utensil is a very good example. When you have a fly or a mosquito somewhere on your face, right? So reflex agents do not consider the future consequences of their action. Just do it right now. Consider the world as it is. Can it be rational? In all cases. right so may or may not be right so they can be rational this example what do you mean by rational in normal bolchal ki bhasha what do you mean by rational so for example what does it mean being practical being practical and logical being practical and logical everybody agrees some other phrases for this for example i i have a personal like he said being uh, logical and practical. practical i usually define it you know doing the right thing in that particular uh, scenario okay so you can reflex to do the right thing okay all right so let us see if we can run this because no i should be able to run this guys you have to help me out in this right so so i run it again i run again look at it again so it says video of demo reflex which is optimal what does it mean so don't don't bother about how is this number 671 coming now since they have made this whole course in uh, i mean behind a authentication wall earlier these codes were actually available i love to check out if i have them but don't worry about this number as such ki why 671 so assume some score will be assigned based on something what has actually happened in this case remember it's a reflex agent what does it mean what does reflex mean right so so you are not planning anything nothing okay you are here you see that there is a food pellet and you keep on eating it okay remember this what it did here mm. reflex
what happened in this case now so so let it let it finish Shall I redo this? So, what happened in this case, and how is it different from the first one? Say that again. Right. In this case, what was happening? See, if you see this contour, if you see this path. There is always a situation that no matter in which position you are, there is always a food pellet to eat nearby. So, you can act reflexively, right? Because you always see a food pellet to eat, you kept on eating. In this case, since Pac Man chose to go this way, and if you see here. So, until I had something to reflex upon, right? I kept on eating, but once, so will it ever end? Will it ever give up this situation and move towards and eat all these things? No, it will never eat, right? So, this number, so you have to control C this program because otherwise it will just run on forever. So, planning agents, right? Reflex agents, they so, what about this ye jo floor pe jo mopper hota hai, what do you think, which kind of agent is that? Reflex or planning? No, so, so give me an example of part of reflex and example of the same thing can be both, right? And same thing can be individually. Haan. So, see, if I am the mopper, if this is my current position, what should I do right now? Let us say I can go left, right, I mean north, east, west, south. Okay? So, what do I do? If I see that the floor is unclean on right hand side, go to right hand side. Is that the reflexive part? No, is it reflexive? I am just looking in my neighborhood and doing something based on that. No memory before, nothing. Right? What would be planning? You are given the area of the whole floor, you know trajectories, you know which way to go first and so on. So, that would be planning, right? So, planning agents are? Planning agents ask this question, what if? But all of this is theoretical, we are not going to, I am not going to ask you these questions in your exams, okay, what is a planning agent and so on. Ask what if? decision based on consequences of action right must have a model of how the world evolves in response or to actions must have a model of how the world evolves okay All right, so hmm. right. So, decisions based on consequences of action, this is important. Must have a model of how the world evolves in response to action. So, you should have the whole model. Must formulate a goal. Consider how the world would be if I do this thing right now. Right? Optimal versus complete planning, planning versus pre planning. What is optimal versus complete planning? And can you give me example of this planning versus re planning? An application that a lot of us use every day? Google Maps. Google Maps, what happens? It will give me from current location to my destination. Right? 
but if something happens on the root then it reevaluate replants right so that particular agent is actually doing it optimal versus complete these are the things that will define optimal means best in some way right complete means if there exists of will will come to that term as well okay so now i play this i have to figure out a way to play them here only no no let us see if i just right so if i if i don't take pen i rather take this no anyway टॉपिक किंग कहां पे है राइट सेम रिमेंबर ये दिस दिस इज सेम एज बिफोर वो जो रिफ्लेक्स इंजेंट हो रहा था व्हाट हैपेंड इन दिस केस नाउ इग्नोर स्कोर सो इट हैड दी कंप्लीट व्यू राइट इट प्लान थिंग्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट अगेन see it is not starting right so it planned everything and then finished all the pellets on this board right reflex agent ke sath kya problem thi the moment you are done with all the pellets in your neighborhood you have no reason to move right even though you might be even though uh, pellets might be there somewhere else but you have no reason to move all right now what do i do thoda sa this one then i pick this one right okay right tell me what happens in this case see it has started hmm right what was the score last time so let us see what was the score in this case mm. 907 and uh, this time it was 914 what is happening what is the difference between these two it is the same same starting position same everything is same board is same so what is the difference so remember what are the three keywords we talked about optimal i mean sorry maximizing expected utility abhi expected drop kar do for us right now everything is deterministic abhi shuru mein so what expected drop kar do we are just talking about maximizing utility utility they are defining in some way these numbers are defining that utility let's say so you want to maximize that that's why 914 is better than 907 what this word mastermind may imply you can't do better than this in this given scenario okay search problems okay so now we come to search problems how many of you are already thinking this is not what we expected
Yes, so how many of you are already thinking this is not what we expected? How many of you expected sci fi kind of AI here? The case is other. No, see, it will not be an extension of machine learning, just machine learning, right? Something else too. And these days, the people are talking about agents more than before, right? Everybody is talking about LLM agents and all these things, huh? But, but, ye ki thodi si boring hai. once we go to algorithms part of it, it will be much better. Search problem, in fact, we are already there. Search problems consist of a state space. Again, I am not going to ask you a search, what are the elements of a search problem? No, okay. A state space is this, we will see, a successor function with actions and cost, a start state and a goal test, a solution is a sequence of actions, a plan which transforms the start state to a goal state. How does it relate to what we were doing before? Search problem, how do we associate ye jo, let us say, so forget jo pishle wale boards the. We are talking about just this one, okay? Any of this, take any of this. How can so this search problem? Why am I calling it? Why we are calling it a search problem? Right. So you are trying to search. The, there are so many paths available. You are trying to search the best one, okay? A state space. So, something like this is given to you a state space. A successor function, what is this now? So, in this state, if you see there are only two actions available east and north. Whereas, if you are talking about this center, then in that case you have four actions available, but we will not care much, right? In the end, we would say there are four actions available north, east, west, south. In some cases, you can take all four. In some cases, you may not be able to take all four. So, a successor function with actions, what are the actions in this case? Move north, east, west, south. What are the cost? You are saying there is one cost for moving one step, right? Be it north or east, this is just one step. So, a start state and a goal test, tell me what are these? Start state is this one for example or any of this, goal test is no food pellets to be eaten for example, but it is specific to this Pac-Man problem. This Pac-Man problem in which we do not have any ghost right now, right? If you have ghost, then they will also come into picture in some way. Hmm? A solution is a sequence of actions, a plan which transforms the start state to a goal state. Any questions anywhere? Right. So, we are we are keeping it analogous that if you move you are actually eating right. So, if you move to a place where there is nothing to eat you still incur that same cost, but of course you can make it more complicated you can bring in that when you say if you eat you get something else versus if you do not eat you get something else. But that will only make my modeling more complicated. So, search problems are models and what does this slide tell us? That models simply, they are nowhere close to how the actual world looks like, right? They are just models. Now, we are coming to technical problem and I will just ask this question and we will go. So, 
you know this which book is this you know this book on artificial intelligence was written by uh, russell and norvig right so peter russell is a um, prof at berkeley norvig is i think director of uh, google or the other way around i don't remember but so they said that in this book they use this map of romania because they wanted it to be in a place where the rest of the world doesn't know now this book is used as a ai textbook in more than 1200 universities so everywhere now people know this map of romania so you start from so state space is cities dekho in your exams either i will ask a question like this that given this you should be able to do something or you might be asked this kind of question given this scenario how will you define a state space how will you define a state space or successor function or start state and so on so what is the problem here can you just look at this and help me figure out what is the question that we are trying to ask here so so go to third bullet what is that start state is arid goal test is so my final state is bucharest if i am here i will stop else i will keep on searching okay or moving right state space is cities successor function is roads go to adjacent city with cost equal to distance so let's say if we start from here we have to go here how do we start give me one path forget optimal so arrive to cbu fagaras and then bucharest now a quick question is this the best one which is the best one so arrive to cbu to diminish you will share whatever it is pitesti and then bucharest is this the best one how do you know right so we can look at this and talk about it right now but algorithmically how will we do it you have done algorithms so which one do you know dijkstra can you run dijkstra's algorithm here what does dijkstra give you shortest path to whom from source to where all other nodes all right so that will also give you to bucharest and you are done okay we won't do it this way but we'll come to that later so is this problem setting clear in particular how are we doing these things right so i think this slide is a good slide to stop and from here we'll start in the next class but i still want to repeat this state space what was those in case of uh, pacman it was that board okay now it has changed to cities so it means state space will depend on the problem i am solving successor function right so roads go to adjacent city with cost equal to distance start state goal state these two things will most likely be given to you in the question itself right so you don't have to worry about these they will be given to you you just have to figure out what are they this you may have to do on your own but at least in this course that won't happen but in practice you will have to do it on your own and this is one of the hardest task to do with this i think i am done unless you have questions class is over attendance ka kahan pe sheet okay ek second wait let me do the head count
how many have not signed how many have not signed ek baar raise your hands okay so we certainly have proxies ek baar ye wapas circulate kar do right jis jis ne proxy lagayi ye kaat do फर्स्ट क्लास है अभी इतना नहीं सफिशियंट मतलब कभी भी आर एल फेस करोगे आगे तो यूल अंडरस्टैंड थिंग्स In fact, that is my goal. अगर अपन आर एल बी ढंग से कवर कर लेते हैं तो टू मी दिस इज दैट्स वॉट आई प्रपोज आई हैड प्रपोज एग्जैक्टली दिस कि अगर वो अभी फिफ्थ सेम में डीप लर्निंग कर लेंगे देन मेरे पास सिक्स एंड सेवेंथ सेम है डीप लर्निंग को और कॉन्सोलीडेट करने के लिए बट I did not resist that too much because this gives us introduction to RL, right? So that is also okay. I mean, there is no point doing machine learning than deep learning than two more advanced courses on deep learning. It is much better to do, let's say, something on RL, machine learning, and then maybe two more courses on deep learning. So that's why I didn't resist too much on this. Huh? आ जाएगा वो चलो एक सेकंड जिन लोगों ने नहीं लगाई बाद में लगाते रहना पहले अच्छा कुछ लोग काट भी चुके हैं नाइस ओके द थिंग दैट आई कैन डू इज 